Okay, so after a very long time of uh, thinking about making videos and not actually making any videos, I'm going to start making some videos. Um, so this is my new truck, new to me anyway. It's a 91 Ford F250 with the 7.3 IDI. There's that big beautiful bastard in there. Uh, it's four-wheel drive, extended cab, long box. It's got, uh, it's got the five-speed in it. Yeah, the column's all torn apart. I've already tried to make a couple videos on this truck, but doing stuff on your cell phone's not very easy. It, it's, uh, I just wasn't happy with the quality of the videos, so I just deleted them. They they were pretty trash. This one was especially bad because I needed both hands for this. This these these suck. You gotta you gotta cut the connector off or pull all the pins out, take the connector apart to pull the wires from the column because this will physically not fit through in there. I don't know if you can see the hole. It's very small. This will not fit. So yeah, I uh, I got the old one out and I put a new one in that came with this truck. Show it to you. I would never buy BWD parts on purpose. This was supplied with the truck. Here is the signal switch. If anybody sees it, I'm going to point it out. There should be a little pin right here and it's missing. It's not in there from the factory. So I had already depinned this connector and shoved it all into the hole and then started repinning it. And then I noticed, wait, something's wrong. Garbage. BWD stands for broken when delivered. So take a look here. You see it's got two pins. It's got this silver one here, and then there's a copper one here, and they're also spring-loaded. Now, I don't know what those are for. I don't feel like putting it in, finding out it's for something important that doesn't work anymore, and then i got to take the steering wheel off and all that again. I, no, I'm not doing that. So now i got to wait for one to come in. Uh, I tried to do a video on this guy as well, doing the glow plugs. Uh, glow plug relay or not relay controller and uh, repairing the glow plug harness because it was all trash um, I do have some of the all of the glow plugs still there are six of them in this box right now this is the old ones they're still good diesel rx so far diesel rx diesel rx I'm impressed with them they seem like a pretty good piece um, but yeah this would have been a really good video if I could have actually got the thing together properly in the way I would liked it I just wasn't happy with how it turned out. Um, so this signal wire here was just taped like this with all this tape here, just wrapped around this wire. And you can see that there's no breaks in the jacketing anywhere. So this wasn't making any continuity. There was no continuity here. It was an open circuit. So I'm trying to figure out why this controller is not working. So I was like, well, what the, what's going on? And I ignored the big ball of tape. I didn't pull it out till it was too late. So I was like, well... How is this supposed to work? Because like, th this guy right here is a signal wire. So it's supposed to sit there on that terminal. Now the way relays work is they use a low voltage or a, um, a lower voltage or lower amperage circuit to close the relay and open the relay for a higher amperage circuit in this case because this is all 12 volts. Everything here gets 12 volts. Just this is a lower amperage circuit. This is a very high amperage circuit. So Without this here, this is not a complete circuit. You cannot send power through the relay to tell it to function without this wire being connected. So I replaced it and then I thought I should look into this. Yeah, so this thing was probably still good. It was just this was the problem. Why this was like this, I have no idea. I but either way it did like I said it did look a little melty down here, so I think it was probably wise to just replace the thing rather than have it work three times and then it burns out and then I'm stranded somewhere because I don't have any, uh, any brake clean or anything and I can't get the truck started because, you know, without glow plugs, IDIs don't start in the summertime. Uh, by the way, everybody's going to keep seeing the ether. No, I'm not using this in that truck. It was in the truck when I bought it. I just took it out to provide or to prevent something stupid from happening. And then... I can use that for small equipment, small gas engines and things that I need to. Um, I'm doing the rear brakes on it. I'm really glad I didn't video trying to get those drums off. That was embarrassing how hard they were to get off. Um, they didn't want to come, but I kept beating them off until they came. So, yeah, just get your mind out of the gutter. Now I'm doing the door locks today. I'm 
trying to do a video on this. So what I'd like to do in this kind of situation, I haven't taken these apart in a long time. I don't remember how they come apart on this style. So I'm doing this side first so that I can remember and get a refresher. And then I'm going to do a video on that side. It's not very hard to change these. It's more just you can't really see. So that's about the hardest part. Um, I got to do the front brakes on it because they're delaminating. Probably going to keep the same rotors on it. I don't feel like messing around with those. And then I got to do, do the water pump. Figure out what that oil leak's coming from. Clean that up. Uh, I already did the glow plugs, the harness repair. This is the cruise control cable. Now, I've never had to mess with these, so I don't know where they go on these IDI trucks. Um, the other problem I'm running into is a lot of the junkyards, the trucks in there don't have cruise control. So... I'm kind of at a loss here. Like, I don't know where this is supposed to connect. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go to the pedal somehow because it doesn't go up here to the fuel shutoff or to the throttle here. There's no way for it to connect up here. So I don't know. I'm not sure. If anybody has any insight for that, let me know I because I, I can't find any information on these anywhere. Um, there's the other one, the front tire. These tires are old, but in really good shape, actually. Um, yeah, this is this is garbage. Get the light on again. This is garbage. You can see that there's no no liner left on that. There was some chunks on it, but like I say, everything's so old it was just delaminating. Like you can see, this side's actually starting to kind of fall apart. I could probably pick some of this off. Yeah, that took like no effort. You can see there's all the other chunks of the lining and then of the drums, which are right there. That one's all blackened. I actually had to torch it to get it off. It was seized on there good. Because, you know, this truck has been sitting in a field for, what did the guy say, like seven years? There was another one that he had. I bought three trucks all at the same time. There was one that he had. So he had this one. He had two 87s. They were all extended cab long box. One of the 87s was a two-wheel drive with a five-speed and a 6.9. And then the other 87 was a four-wheel drive with a four-speed and a 6.9. I sold the four-speed one to my old journeyman, and then we split the cost on the other one, and then we were going to part it out, but we ended up just selling the whole thing for parts. We didn't have any space for it. Because um, as you can see, I kind of have a... I'm overrun with tires here, starting to slowly sell all this stuff, me and my roommate... Trying to make some extra cash. Um, but yeah. So most of my free time now is going to be into this. And then hopefully we can get some free time together. And I'll have a cameraman so I can do some more quality videos. But um, I, I'm actually pretty choked though. Because that, that glow plug video would have been really good. Um, it's too bad. It was, it was really good. There's a lot to learn on that one. I even went over the functions of a glow plug. How to check them. And then... This one, this one here, this this one would have been good if I had somebody filming me. A tripod wouldn't even have done this one very well, because then you can't see what I'm doing in here and there. And yeah. yeah, long story short, that one's kind of hard to do. I know some people have done it with a GoPro, but usually that's uh, the videos that I've seen of it. The uh, They're the kind where you look at the screen and it's like, oh, I'm going to puke because the thing's moving around so much. Um, so yeah, then this also needs rear parking brake cables. They're broken and it needs a front fuel tank. The rear one, I haven't filled it the whole way yet, but so far it's holding fuel. This one's rusted right through on the bottom. I made a big mess. doesn't come up on the camera very well, but you can see there's a wet, uh, paper towel there still. That's all soaked with diesel fuel because I made a mistake and I poured fuel in the wrong tank i remember the guy told me he said one of them was bad but i didn't remember which one <laughs> so yeah there's uh there's 20 dollars of fuel all over the ground so it's like oh whatever it is what it is here's what the drums look like better look i had to really pound those things like i said i uh, i really beat them off and they finally came dirty minded freaks um 
yeah, so I guess uh, the only other thing I should point out is that I do still have the Super Duty, so you will see that. That's uh, that guy way over there. See, it's a good truck. It's old one. Still have it. Got to do some work to it, but uh, can't really have any time to do it yet. I'm trying to just get this truck in shape before I start tearing that other one apart so that I, I have my backup truck ready to go. So that I don't need to borrow trucks or something for work. That gets a little irritating after a while for both parties, the borrower and the lender. So until this one's fixed, I'm not touching anything on the Super Duty until unless it's like very broken and needs to be fixed. So that one's got a lot of work coming up on it. You guys are going to see all that. Um, and then until the next video, uh, so you guys could get a little bit of an idea what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, do a little bit of everything. Mostly going to be fixing my trucks and doing some stuff. And then maybe when we go out for a cruise or whatever, do some off-roading with them. Because this truck's going to be going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome little off-road truck. I don't plan on making it like a mud bog or anything. I'm just saying, like, go camping out in the bush, you know, go tenting it. This will be a perfect truck. I don't even need the tent. This has got that fold-down back seat. So that's going to be sweet. Um, yeah. Until the next video, which will likely be those lock cylinders, because I'm going to film that today as well. Then, uh, yeah, you guys have a great one.